Hey guys, how's it going today? Uh, I wanted to make this video uh, because uh, in about an hour from now, the car is going going on a flatbed out of here for about a week or so, maybe a week or two. Uh, and also it's early morning and the sun ain't over here and I could get a good shot of everything. Uh, as you know, I've been having troubles out the yang here with the wiring on this car. And uh, I've done about everything I could do to it to try to remedy the situation and I uh, decided to take it to a professional. Uh, there was a buddy of mine who was gonna come down from Chicago and do it. Uh, he's not in the greatest health right now either and uh, neither am I, so. I got the uh, wiring kit <coughs> along with everything that needs to be uh, put into it as well in the trunk. Uh, show you a few of the things I got uh, ready to go here. I got the new alternator, one wire alternator back there with the uh, brand new kit. I've, I've showed that in another video. Got a box here, old parts and wires, new rear bulbs, kind of make it easy for the guys up there. Here we got the brand new uh, dash carrier with the gauges in there already. That has to be put in along with the uh, hardware and some gauges. And I threw the assembly manual in there and uh, the body book. So this way these guys have what they need. <laughs> but uh, over the weekend, I uh, I was running the car and it uh, it was tapping, you know, you have to have an exhaust leak. And I just absolutely hate exhaust leaks. So I uh, decided I was gonna uh, change the, uh, the header gasket. But I figure, what the hell, I got brand new headers. I may as well uh, throw one on there, you know, as well, because they're going to be changed out anyway. So I, uh, I did that. I put the, uh, at least I got this side, the uh, driver's side, done with the uh, header and the new gasket. <coughs> it took some work to get it done. I had to jack the car up about two foot in the air because the header had to come out at the bottom. Of course the linkage and the uh, clutch fork was in the way so I took it all apart and actually the uh, the uh, dipstick tube broke off in the block so I had to thread that out and knock it out that took about an hour and a half and uh, well needless to say I got the job done fire it up no more exhaust leaks right Everything uh, seems to be fine with it, right? Yeah, I was happy. Oh yeah, I was happy for about, uh, well, overnight I was happy. Uh, yesterday I came out here to get everything in the car to uh, get it ready for the guy who was coming. And I fired up and my intention was to bring it across the street over there, move some cars around. And all of a sudden, underneath the uh, steering column, a fire breaks out. And, uh, well, needless to say, good thing I was standing here. I got it turned off, disconnected the battery. Uh, what happened was two wires somehow made their way over and touched the uh, lower part of the steering column shorted out, burnt out all the, uh, you know, the cases over tops of the wiring. Uh, so that was its last hurrah. <laughs> so it couldn't have come at a better time to get this damn car <coughs> over to the uh, place where it's going to get wired. Because now I can't even, it, it, it turns over but it won't stay running because the wires are 
completely toasted. I climb under there to show you what burnt, burnt but I'm not going to bother doing that. I just uh, wanted to show you I did get the console in because the guys have to... Uh, <clears throat> The guys are going to have to uh, wire that up as well, so I mounted it. And I threw one seat in there so they can move, you know, they were, well, originally to drive it into the shop, but now we're going to have to push it. Uh, yeah, so that's how that all went. So right now, I just called the towing outfit, and they... Uh, they said uh, their guys are out, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be about an hour before they get back. So <coughs> I figure I'd shoot you all a video, tell you what's going on with this. Uh, it's going in, like I said, an hour, hour and a half, probably be a week or two. So you won't see this car for a while. Hopefully when I get it back, everything works. And this will be just a bad memory of all this wiring. I mean, at times I feel this car is like possessed. I mean, it just either it doesn't want to get put back on the road or, or what. I mean, I've never had such trouble with a car. <coughs> but anyway, <coughs> let me turn this off before the batteries die out. I just want to get this video up and everything, so... I'll make another one, let you know how things are things are going and everything, all right? And uh, to my buddy Rich, who was going to come out here and, uh, and do this job, I want to wish him the best of luck with getting his health back on track. He has a, an operation coming, and, uh, well, that's about all I'll say with that. Uh, good luck, Rich. I hope everything works out for you, and uh, I'll be in touch, okay? All right, everybody, have a good day, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Wish me luck.